Welcome back, Bree Pettis from MakerBot. Always a pleasure to be here. All right, and this was your first year, I believe, doing like a formal press conference, press conference yeah. for your products. Yeah, it's one of those things where you know we've been here, this is our fifth year here, so it's been it's great to be back. Yeah. And um, it's we 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 dropped a lot of new stuff. So we wanted to have a press conference so we could show it all off and really show people the whole ecosystem we're presenting. All right, well, so tell me about the products that you showed off. I know we covered the press conference, but just a recap. Mm -hmm. So you've got the MakerBot Replicator Mini. Mm -hmm. This is the consumer 3D printer that we, we were presenting. And it's nice and tidy, but it's got, it, it's no compromise. It's got all, it's got a professional, you know, uh, MakerBot Smart Extruder. It's got, it's networked. It's just, it's got, a, it's a very powerful machine in it tidy little package. Would you call that the starter for people who, who uh, don't have a 3D printer already? Yeah, this would be a great place to start getting into 3D printing and okay. exploring the frontier. And then we've got the MakerBot Replicator desktop, and this, this 3D printer is for the prosumer. This is the machine that when we announced it on stage, Lockheed Martin immediately called up and said, we need these for our engineers. Right. Like the, the, the Replicator wow. brand has been around yeah. for a while, but this is the latest generation that's, of it, That's right? correct. Mm -hmm. and so this is for people who want a larger print volume, they yeah. want to be able to do a little more stuff, get a little bit more uh, product out of what they're printing. And it's networked as well, so you can either plug a USB stick into the front, or you can connect it to an Ethernet cable, or connect it via USB, or you can even connect wirelessly, so you can, you can connect with your phone and. Actually, all of the machines we're presenting have a camera on the inside of them. So, and that's a new feature, right? Yeah. Previously, you didn't have those, so that you can actually keep an eye on what you're printing. Yeah, you can go get a cup of tea and be like, oh, you know, it'll send you a message. You know, come, get your, come get your 3D model, it's done. And, uh, and that makes it also easy to share on social networks, like Thingiverse, Because that's Twitter, I would imagine Facebook. that's probably the, the thing that, when you're just starting out, is the hardest thing to get around is the patience. Because so you have to be pretty patient to, for your object to come into the world, right? Yeah, I mean, it does have the effect of like a, kid, a you know a goldfish bowl, and you're a kitten kind right. of. It's spellbinding watching you know your idea come to come to life right in front of you. Right. You know, um, one of the big things that when we talk about 3D printing, people go, "Well, what do I need it for?" I think this year you kind of really showed what a consumer can get out of it with yeah. with these toys that you can print. Can you tell us about the App Store and and how it works with like all the toys? So we, besides three machines, and there's one more, we launched a giant, oh, yeah, enormous <laughs> MakerBot Replicator Z18. That, and, uh, but you're, you're absolutely right. We, we, we decided we were going to just, instead of waiting for people to cross the chasm to us, into figuring out, you know, we get a lot of like, well, when am I going to get into 3D printing? And we're like, you know what, we're just going to make you the coolest stuff so you want to make it. And we made a, a, a bunch of, uh, six different collections of collectibles. And so, like this one here, this is a uh, this is a chunky truck, and we made a whole line of, of a whole construction set that you can make. So you just go online and pick the toys you want, or pick the whole set, and like how much do they cost? Uh, they start at ninety nine cents for each one, and then nine ninety nine for the whole album or, or, or collection. Mm -hmm. And you know, my daughter's already like, I want the pets. <laughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> so it's it's one of those things where we made it easy, and then we made content so that you know we realized like. We kind of made the guitars of rock and roll, the rock and roll era, but with uh, the 3D, the, the, these are sort of like the guitars. We had to make the music so that people wanted to play music. Sure. So but then on, on the other hand, though, you are having people still submit their ideas. There's still that open community of people who are submitting oh yeah. their products their, uh, that other people can take and refine or print out themselves. Is that what this guy is, or is this? Yeah, he has a claw. What's the so claw? So this is this is epic. So our website, Thingiverse, which is a community of creative people, that people share their de their designs, and wow. this is a prosthetic hand for kids. So normally prosthetic hands cost like tens of thousands of dollars. When you have a MakerBot, this costs like five dollars, and kids grow out of them like sneakers, so they usually don't get them. Right. But this, uh, the, the community came up with this project, shared it, and now it's been downloaded more than 50,000 times. And you know, I've talked with kids who were born with amniotic band syn syndrome without any fingers, and they've, they, they went to their school, this, this one kid, Leon, went to a school, made a, made a robo hand on, his, on the MakerBot at school, wow. and he's used it to catch touchdowns. So it's one of those wow. things where it's not just for you know, knickknacks. These, this is used for things that make a real difference in people's lives. Right, I can imagine with these smaller parts that are involved in this, you could probably get away with printing this on a, one of the, the, the mini, right? It's, it's made to be made on all of the, 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 the 3D printers we're launching. That's really great. And so the pricing is the other interesting 
uh, factor on the menu, you've actually brought the price down to oh, the yeah. lowest price yet for the entry level consumer, right? Yeah, this is this is thirteen seventy five. This one's twenty eight ninety nine, and the ginormous one is is sixty four ninety nine. Right. So when you look at the build volume, the features that you get, it's it's an amazing package. We also launched, I should mention, we launched three new applications. Mm -hmm. So it's not just Here's three, you know, 3D printers. We made it easy for people to connect on their mobile device. Uh, we made a creative tool called MakerBot Print Shop that's, that's for the iPad. And then we've got the MakerBot Desktop app where you can browse Thingiverse in the new digital store. Now, Bam! Now, wasn't it also earlier, was it earlier this year that you guys talked about the, the laser scanner? Like, wasn't that another announcement relatively recently? That's another part of the whole MakerBot 3D right. ecosystem. And the MakerBot Digitizer is a desktop 3D scanner. And it, you know, a MakerBot takes, a MakerBot 3D printer takes digital designs and makes them physical. Right. The MakerBot Digitizer takes physical things and makes them digital, so that you can modify them and grab your the gnome out of your front yard, scan it, and add more beard. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Well, Bree, thanks so much for joining us here and showing off the MakerBots. Uh, anyone here uh, at CES is encouraged to head over to the MakerBot booth and uh, see what these things can really do. Um, We've got more for you here at the CNET stage, so don't go anywhere. There's a lot more happening today. Dan Ackerman's going to be back here with the next wave of the newest laptops here at CES. Uh, and at 11 a.m., check back here, because I'm going to be launching a brand new show called The Fix. That and a whole lot more happening right now, so stay tuned.